is sticking with the Donkey Kong in his set yeah. going up against Nick C. Bringing it back. Uh, I haven't seen his Donkey Kong much. I've seen his um, Palutena, but I like to see how he sets this out because Nick C does have a lot of Palutena practice with Jen, Frozen, and Ray all being in the same state as him. Yeah, and you've also seen Nick go toe to toe against like players like Narrow and hold his own. You know, I think in the two sets I've seen him play against Narrow, he's at least won at least like a couple of games. So yeah. you know, maybe Donkey Kong uh, is the remedy here for Mateo. Uh, right now, it's not looking too good. Again, the big problem you're going to run into is Donkey Kong is in most matchups. You're a big body, and these like these rushdown characters are going to eat you up. But that back air yeah. is going to eat up that stock from Captain Falcon. Yeah, he's throwing a, a bunch of these back airs into the neutral and. Nixie's just running into them, but with that knee, just trying to make a reversal right there. And you gotta watch out from those two frames from Nixie. He likes to go for them, which is there. Full up there. And All right, there you go. Yep, the falling up there into knee. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And you know, that's been a staple for Captain Falcon the last couple of Smash games. But Nixie uh, recklessly side being into Mateo's shield right there. Yeah, that's going to do big damage. Yeah, he's trying to get a combo starter off. And side B is one of his high volume combo starters where he can't get a lot, a lot off it, but he prob it's high risk also. There you go, man. Mateo okay. trying to aggressively swing his way down, and there you go. Nick taking advantage of the fact that Donkey Kong is a sitting duck in disadvantage, and once again, the up air to knee will be the remedy on that stock. All right, and can Mateo finish off the stock before tacking on too much percent? Okay, but the up tilt not taking it. <laughs> that was such a funny sequence break. Yeah. Okay, LP, 49%. That does a lot of damage. I actually yeah. did not realize that. Yeah, when he hugs you, he's hugging you. Yeah, that's a strong hug. Hug that lasts a little bit too long. Okay, falling up here, taking Falcon stock at 170. All right, let's see what the answer is here from uh, Mateo. All he really has to do is grab Falcon once, and you know he should be able to get himself at least back in the thick of things. But the dare to the knee, the classic. That will result in game one going to Nick C. So, do you, do you think we're going to see the Palu? I wouldn't be surprised. Like, that didn't go awful, but the way that that match went is that whoever got to play the game, like, whoever got their turn, took, yeah. like, strong advantage of it. They, they got to play their turn. It was a game of Mario Party, man. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, okay, no, you stick with the Donkey Kong. I guess whatever it is, there must be something about Palutena where... You know, he kind of has to commit a little bit. He has to commit heavier in Palutena's wheelhouse, and I guess Donkey Kong has to. Uh, yeah. You know, I wouldn't want to fight Falcon air to air. I guess uh, Mateo's probably just going to take his uh, lump scum with Donkey Kong here. Yeah. So. Also, back air is not that bad to as an air to air move. As you see, it's, it's kind of disjointed, and it's a really strong hitbox to throw out. Plus, like, frame four or five. So, really good startup right there. Oh, <laughs> my God. Slap him down. Everybody slap hands, says Mateo, and that will be stock one going to him once again. So, you know, Mateo at least getting himself out to a solid start, but that down tilt from Falcon, and yup, Donkey yeah. Kong having to recover from that far out. There really isn't much else we can do except pray that uh, Nick misses the down air, and he does not. Okay, the extension with the F tilt, just trying to tag him more damage. Also, putting him in the prime spot where if he does burn a jump, he can just get another spike <laughs> like that. Wow. So just like that, we're not even, you know, two minutes into the game and the uh, three stocks have been eviscerated so yeah. far. You see Mateo once again trying to take advantage of Nick jumping above the ledge. Yeah, and I like Mateo's use of falling up air to get, as a combo breaker, just to get out of Nick's combos that aren't true, or strings that aren't true. Oh, back it right there. Oh, he doesn't grab ledge. Yeah, I, I think Nick was probably expecting uh, Mateo to kind of like dip a little bit lower out there. Maybe he's trying to sneak one under him. Going for that Falcon dive, but it does not matter. Soft knee. Yeah. And now Mateo without a jump, but able to get back. Okay. And the combo not working. That means he doesn't have a knock, knock back. And up throw up there. The Ding Dong's not truly in this game. So Falcon's living right there. There you go. The up tilt will trade. That's going to put Mateo in a bad spot, but able to fight his way back down with back air. The knee not going to get the sweet spots, but it does not matter. The salsa oh. kick. And that's dead. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it does not matter. Nick, obviously, just trying to go for the insurance with the down yeah. there anyway. Uh, did not really need it right there. And Nixie going up 2-0 here. So maybe now we will see the Palutena. Yeah, maybe now. It could be something in the match where he just is, you know, he's not a, a huge fan about it. We shall see if he uh, you know, decides to switch. Okay, okay, there we go. 
I'll take them out to town and city. That's all, yeah, that's, it, all I like, that's all I like my girls. Take them out to the city. Yeah, there you go. Take, <laughs> take them to see the countryside as well. Three, Typical when you, you know, one, we're in New York City, go. they got to take a bus to get in between the different areas. Yeah. So, so we'll see how this stacks out again. Palutena, one of the best air-to-air -air characters in the game. You know, neutral air, uh, a fantastic combo starter, a low percent, and a, you know, a great edge guarding tool against Captain Falcon as well. But Yeah, she definitely wins the matchup. But it's how experienced it's the XP on in the matchup that Mateo probably doesn't have as much as Nixie. Yeah, Captain Falcon is kind of like a. a oh, oh my God. God! Oh my God! Captain Falcon, I'll tell you what, he's he's a a, a very very good character. Is yeah. showcasing right there, getting off to uh, a stock lead here. And these uppies out of shield. If you do something like too unsafe onto Falcon, he's just gonna up you out of shield and get the free advantage. Ooh, okay, kind of a duel on the platform right there, but neither player coming away with uh, any sort of stage advantage. They continue to press on the platform, Mateo trying to get back down. Okay, is Nick following, following him with these falling up airs? Seems like a shark. That was a nice recovery there from Nick, too. Hugging the ledge as close as he could, knowing that Mateo just couldn't just run out there and neutral air him. And there we go, once again, the dare to knee. Yeah, Say no more. Mateo, if you look this back, you need to like be, avoid these bears. There goes to the explosive flame. Ooh, there we go. Down okay. tilt, incredibly active move uh, for Palutena on the ledge right there. Will result in the forward air kill. But Mateo definitely has his work cut out for him. Let's see if he's going to be able to rebound here. Yeah, and we see the brief Falcon co Palutena combo, but now it's Falcon's turn. Okay, we just see a bunch of nares at each other. Yeah, it, it sounds about right. It sounds like Smash Ultimate. Go to Gentleman, will result in the ledge trap situation, and once again, the Gentleman sending him out into the blast zone. Too. Oh my. Oh, that was dope. He caught him. That was awesome. I don't know if Nick did that on purpose. He yeah, probably, I, I want to say he did. I'd say he would too, yeah. Like, that was just so smart and... You know, knowing that Palutena, her weakest point is when she's obviously teleporting at yeah. you. You know, warp recoveries are good, but, like, they're extremely exploitable as well. And they're taking great advantage of that. We're seeing in, in the replay right now, you know, just using the... He made great use out of that command grab that yeah. game three, too. I can kind of see, you know, there's definitely a lot of practice there. You know, people don't want to do something like that if they 